my personal advice to people, um, and very few people can do this, so it's, it's, it's not advice to many, but I found that when I went to, I went to a treatment center that was a for-profit treatment center, the barrier between the administration and the clinicians was not in place because the administration were the owners and they ultimately were the bosses of the clinicians. And they truly profited from each individual that was or wasn't there. And, and I remember one girl went there. Her parents took her college tuition and put it into this place. It was a totally irresponsible institution and it was so expensive. And this one girl shows up there and she is acute and in, in bad shape and you know, this is her last shot. And within a day or two, she starts to freak out, rightly so, because she starts to see like there's kind of mayhem among the patients, people, there's not a lot of safety measures in place. People are, you know, sneaking food, food is easy access. Um, this place had like zero ability at that time to understand how to um, sort of use food as a, the exposure that it needed to be for people to be able to actually eat again without, you know, losing their mind. And um, she wanted to leave after two days, and I think she actually was right. And the place would not return the deposit, the sort of three-month deposit, tens of thousands of dollars. They would not return it because she had committed. And, you know, this holding her to it was what, what they are supposed to do. Well, every other place I've been to since, which is not for profit, doesn't do that. And that means that if you leave and you've put in a deposit, you get the money back that is for the days that you didn't actually end up completing. Um, so that's the ethical and the right thing to do, and this place didn't do it. So anyone whose families are taking their money to, to throw into for-profit places, I, in my opinion, um, I, don't, I don't trust them.